Hello everybody, welcome to the Rome vlog thing of the art that I made while I was here. So, well, there, because I'm no longer there. Here's some pictures from like the start of the trip and getting there. Um, most of this video is going to be like a little bit of talking head while I show off art. Uh, patrons, you'll have access to like a photo album that has the art that I drew while I was there, so you don't have to like, you can go download it and whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, the trip was, one, a great learning experience. Um, it was the first time I was outside of the country on, like, a larger vacation or whatever. And that's the thing, is it was, like, half and half vacation and also, like, studying art. So that was a really fun, like, new experience where I didn't know the streets and I could barely read menus and, like, grocery shopping was really interesting. Um, fun fact, shaving cream's not really a thing there. Um, this photo that's up right now is actually from the, like, two or three days that there was a movie filming in front of our house. I don't know what it is, but, like, in front of our Airbnb while we were there. But, yeah! There was freaking amazing art and parks like everywhere. Things were super crazy walkable and when they weren't, public transit was wild easy. Except for the time that we might have accidentally got on the bus with thinking that tickets worked like American buses. Fun fact, they don't. You buy them before you get on. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this is from this particular piece is from our visit to the Pantheon and this piece is obviously not by me but I took photos of it because I really liked how the hands were painted and like the colors um, and I also took a picture of the plaque which is in Italian but you can translate it if you want um, the significant thing from it that I looked at is that the artist that they had on display was actually from Ukrainian descent so that's super cool <laughs> Obviously, uh, at time of recording, it's really obvious why they pulled that out and had it on display. Um, but a lot of the drawings that I did while I was out and about were like really fast gestures. One, because I'm an animator. I don't... <laughs> if you give me the, the more than a minute to draw a gesture, you'll end up with like a finished drawing probably. Um, and also being out and about, like, I didn't want to be standing in people's way a whole bunch for the more busy places. But anywhere that was a little bit more chill, um, I did, like, some slightly more finished works, which is super cool. Uh, here's a comic that I made based off some writing that I did while I was there. Um, yeah, I actually had the urge to write for a little bit, which is absolutely wild. I'm not normally much of a writer, but like every once in a while I get struck with inspiration and I also, um, since I had Spy there and we didn't have like any specific time crunches, he taught me a little bit about editing for flow and whatnot because I very much write how I talk, which doesn't necessarily work for reading, but it does work for, you know, stage and Dungeons and Dragons and script writing, but <laughs> yeah. Um, these, these drawings are actually from Piazza Navona, um, and I think that ended up being one of my favorite places to draw. I swear to god this one is not lewd, the guy is literally just holding a pole <laughs> if you look up the main, like, fountain at Piazza Navona. But, yeah. That one was funny, uh, I've now officially been gently scolded by a police officer <laughs> for drawing. Uh, which I was very salty about because the police officer chose to scold me for sitting too close to the fountain but not the group of like five or ten other people that were much much closer to where he was posted so yeah <laughs> that was a little annoying but you know whatever I'm still really happy with how a bunch of these turned out there's also some art fight attacks snuck in there as you can see um, and there's other things that, like, I have photos that I want to do, like, digital painting studies of because I was more interested in the color and whatnot, and I am not a watercolor <laughs> artist, and 
I didn't bring a whole bunch of super good supplies with me because, like, I didn't want to deal with trying to transport them. But in the future, I might try that. But yeah! Um, I'm trying to think if I have any other, like, things that I want to share. I guess if you have any questions about anything, you know, feel free to shoot your questions at me. And if you've had a good time so far, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and all that good, like, YouTube algorithm pleasing jazz. It's genuinely helpful. Uh, interacting with the video tells YouTube that it's worth pushing out to other people. And yeah, I'll do all that fancy outro stuff in just a moment. In just a moment. My goodness you're here at the end of the video well nonetheless that's super cool thank you so so much and of course thank you so much to my patrons who make this all possible y'all help me make ends meet and work towards my goal of basically being able to make my own art and whatnot full time so without further ado a huge thank you to my pursuers Big Print, Denny Jones, Holly King, and Bonnie Schnabel, my Voidwalkers, Lisa Bambachi and Scarlett Brooks, my Nightmare Eater, David Umiette, and of course, thank you, thank you so, so much to my Mythic Sparks, King X Link, Nyx, Sadie Hartman, and last but not least, Bughouse. If you would like to support me and have your name read in these credits and also get art from me on a monthly basis, then you can head on over to my Patreon, where you can pledge as little as a dollar every month to as much as you want. With that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye